Welcome to our lecture online. We found in the previous video that if we use the Taylor series expansion only to a few terms, we'd actually get a very close evaluation of the function. In this case, the function was the square root of x. When we picked a value for a that was very close to the value we wanted to evaluate the function at. In this example, we want to evaluate the function, which was the square root of x, for values of x between 15 and 17. So in the Taylor series expansion, we used a equals 16. In the previous video, we showed you that when we evaluated the function at x equals 17, and only to two to uh, three terms, because when we have degree two, we have the first term, the f prime term, and they have double prime term. The degree number represents the number of derivative terms that we have in our Taylor series expansion. When we evaluated for x equals 17, we got a value of 4.123047. With our calculator, we found that the actual value to six decimal places was this, with a difference or error that is very small. So you can see with only three terms, we got a value very close to the actual value for the square root of 17. We can actually calculate what the error will be. The error for degree n, let's call it r sub n, and we're taking the absolute value of it because we don't care if it's plus or minus. We can find that by evaluating the very next term in the series. So since this was evaluated to a degree 2, we evaluate the next term, the f, uh, the uh, third derivative term, because the last term here was second derivative, we'll evaluate the third derivative term and we'll find that our error that we got using the first three terms is going to be less than the value of the next term. And that's how we can estimate the error we can expect. So let's go ahead and evaluate this and see what we have. So in this case, we're going to take the third derivative of a, and a, of course, is 16. So we have f, third derivative of 16 divided by n plus 1, now since n was 2, this will be 3 factorial, times x minus a, remember we're evaluated at x equals 17, so it'll be 17 minus 16, raised to the n plus 1 power, so that would be the third power. Doesn't matter, 17 minus 16 is 1, 1 cubed is still 1. So for our convenience, we've already evaluated f triple prime of 16. So that was 3 divided by 32 times 256. So this is 3 divided by 32 times 256. And we have to multiply that here times 3 factorial, which is 6. And here we have 1 cubed. Of course, that's still 1. And let's see what we have for an error. At least we know that our error in our estimation for degree 2 will be less than the next term in the Taylor series expansion. So we have 3 divided by 32 divided by 256 divided by 6 equals, and we end up with this is equal to 0 0.0000061. Notice that's the estimated error, or that's the value of the next term, and we know that our error in the expansion is going to be less than or equal to that, and when we compare what we got, to what that number is here, you see that yes indeed, it is slightly less, our error with just the first three terms is slightly less than the value of the next term in the Taylor series expansion. So if you want to know how many terms do I need before I have a value that's sufficiently accurate for my use, you can find error very quickly by using this technique. And that's how it's done.